This is the Streamlight Protec HL5X, and it's a light I got when I was looking for a modern flashlight that was similar in size to a mag light. And I was also looking for something that was really bright, and this fits that role. The high mode of this light is 3,500 lumens, and that's very impressive. It's currently the brightest flashlight I own. And the candela on this is 51,000, which makes it throw pretty far. So the whole light body is aluminum, and the head here is exposed, but the rest of it has this rubber overmold, a rubber sleeve on it, which makes it really nice for gripping the light. So to turn it on, it just is the side button here, like a classic mag light. You can put pressure on it, which activates the momentary, or a full click for constant on. I've seen some people complain that this light didn't have a tail cap button, but to be honest, on a light like this, it doesn't really make sense to me to have a button back here. Having a tail cap means you're usually holding the light like this, and uh, this light is just pretty big, and I don't really see myself holding the light like this. It's pretty front heavy as well. Yeah, I don't really see myself ever holding this specific light this way just because it's size and it's, it's front heavy. So the button being right there is absolutely fine to me. The light does have modes as well. And while I'm not really the biggest fan of having a bunch of different modes on flashlights, Streamlight allows you to choose between three sets of modes. So I'm just going to run through the modes of this light real quick and show you what they are. And I'm going to give a quick light sensitivity warning because there's going to be some flashing lights here. So the first mode is your high of 3,500 lumens, and that is for 1.25 hours. A double click, and that's going to give you strobe. If you click it three times, you get a low mode, and that is 250 lumens, and that's for 11 and a half hours. Now to get to the second mode, you need to tap it 10 times and hold on the 10th time. And you can see it change there. So now, this mode is high only. No matter how many times you press it, it's just 3500 lumens, just one mode, so that's pretty nice. If you just want it to be one mode and one mode only, that's your option. Now the third mode, You can see it change again. So now it gives you low first. A double click gives you now a medium of a thousand lumens, and that's a runtime of three hours. And three clicks is your high of 3,500 lumens again. And to get back to the first one, you tap it 10 times again. And it'll show the strobe. So now you have high, strobe, and low again. On the side here, you can see Streamlight, and it says 10 tap programmable. A lot of their tactical lights have that. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this light for indoor use, unless you're in a very large warehouse or something like that. If you're inside, it'd probably be wise to have it set to the third mode where you have low first, because 250 lumens is, is plenty of light, and you're not going to blind yourself every time. You're also getting more runtime, but yeah. You're not blinding yourself. 3,500 lumens up close is... It's a little too bright, especially in smaller rooms. Where this light really shines, pun intended, is outside. You can light up the whole woods. If you're searching for stuff, lighting up whole yards, this light can do it. The batteries used are Streamlight's SLB26 rechargeable lithium-ion batteries. Take out the tail cap and you get two of them. The battery is 3.7 volt, 2600 milliamp hours. Takes a micro USB cable to recharge. You also have the ability to use four CR123s in the light. Now I probably wouldn't be using CR123s as a primary source of batteries for this light, more of an emergency backup type of thing. It's just a lot of batteries to be using, and the light does take a drop in performance with the 123s, but it's not a huge performance drop, so it's definitely still viable. Personally, I just wouldn't want to be using that many batteries unless these were just completely out of charge. To charge the batteries, you have to take them out of the flashlight itself. Would it have been nice to be able to charge the, the light without taking the batteries out? Yes, but it's not a huge deal to me. 
and there's no port on the outside of the light for gunk to get inside, so you could say that's a positive in that regard. The cable it comes with is a split cable, and that's so you can charge both batteries at once, and that's pretty nice. The battery is red when it's charging, and when the battery is full, it'll turn green. The batteries fit nice and snug inside the light. They're not going to rattle around. Sometimes some flashlights batteries can rattle. This one's good to go. The head has an anti-roll design and that's to stop it from rolling. As you can see, it kind of falls into the flat. Now what I found is that on this light, the anti-roll is not really that great. They do work, but this light is pretty heavy and if it gets any momentum behind it, it just kind of rolls away. You can see that. But yeah, it, it is heavy and it's not a small light either. The light is nearly 10 inches long and it weighs over a pound. Definitely not going to be an EDC light you're throwing in your pocket. Maybe you're in law enforcement, you can throw this on a belt or something, on your chest rig. Light would probably work well for that. It's IPX7 rated for weatherproofing. You don't need to worry about getting it wet. They're drop tested to a meter. I've already dropped this off my dresser a couple times and it's uh it survived that it feels like a pretty solid light the problem is you don't want to be dropping this thing too much because like i said it's over a pound and usually the heavy lights don't like the drops because there's a lot more force i won't go throwing this off buildings or anything and expecting it to survive and the price let's get to the price of the light it's around a hundred dollars so it's not cheap it's not too bad though i got it on sale actually for 80 bucks i think that's a pretty good price for this Generally, the price is around $100. Be aware, you'll sometimes see this light for cheaper, around $80, $70, somewhere around that range, or any range for that matter. Just keep in mind that this light is sometimes sold with just four CR123s and not the rechargeable SLB26. That's important because the batteries alone, I think it's like $20 for a pair of them. Um, I was just at Cabela's and I saw that one of the batteries was selling for $20. If you're buying this light, make sure it has the batteries that you want to come with it. It'll say either the four CR one two threes or with the two rechargeable batteries. So pay attention to that. That pretty much covers the Streamlight ProTech HL5X. It's a great light and Streamlight's tactical lights. Honestly, I use it the most when I am looking out at night trying to identify animals in the woods. And it does a really good job of that. If you're looking for a high quality light that's extremely bright and has great company behind it, Streamlight HL5X might be something to look at. I figured I would throw this in here too in case anyone ends up taking the light apart. I was taking the light apart and I took off the front bezel and I like to take apart things that I have just to see what's inside and everything. So you take off the front, you got your glass lens there and an o-ring back here as well as an o-ring inside along the glass lens. The reflector can come out. There's your LED. This piece here, to put it back in, it has to go in a very specific way. So there's three notches, and then five equally spaced notches. And as you can see, it can only go in a very specific way here. The three have to go up there. You know, it's pretty simple, but at first I didn't realize that, and it wasn't seating all the way in. I didn't realize what was happening until I took it apart again and saw that they were notched a certain way. So keep that in mind. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll actually have this light listed down in the description. It's an Amazon affiliate link. I always appreciate when you use that. Thanks for watching it. See you later.